corrected. We're way farther down <laughs> than the panhandle. <laughs> uh, so we're going to ride the keys. But we're hanging out with our buddies, Scott and Kelly, and they got some really cool helmets. Now, I'm gonna talk about helmets today, and I'm gonna tell you what I ride with, but I had the opportunity to talk about these other helmets, and I have them here on hand. So it's not that I've rode with them, I just wanna show a comparison side by side. And I can feel the weight. I wish I had something here to scale it out, but I can tell you, you know, by hand, and I can show you looks of the helmet side by side, because that's what I wanna see. Uh, we also need to be able to ride with a helmet. We talk about helmets, we talk about seats, and honestly, we talk about bikes. And really, when it comes down to it, you just gotta get your ass in a seat and get your head in a helmet to really know the feel of the product. But we're gonna take this chance and look at these helmets. Now, what we've been riding with, Steph and I, have been riding with the Arai Region X. This year, we rode with these. I think we're on, <clears throat> mm, 3,000 miles now with this helmet. I'm enjoying the helmet. Um, this one is, of course, the finish of the gray. You're gonna have to drop that in the link. I can't remember the, the uh, exact color, but we'll put that in the link. And I was gonna tell some features that I do like about this helmet is the comfortability. That's what comes in firsthand with the Arai. Uh, it's really soft. The cheeks, you can take these out. You can make these, uh, rip them off and they adjust to the, the size of your cheeks. So if you got some chunky cheeks like I do, you can rip these off and adjust. I really like that feature, especially when you're vlogging. As you can see here, we're running the Evo. So the Senna action camera, the 10 Evo. It's working really good for us. Um, it looks really good and sleek on this helmet. I'll show you, kind of spin it. The features on this helmet, also with the vents, is the top of your head, you have two scalp vents. Then you also have the eyebrow vents, which I use. This is a really cool feature. Then you have a chin vent. <clears throat> it's really vents well. Everything's doing very, you know, it's, it's ventable, I guess is what I'm gonna say. We're, we're having good luck with it. The action of this helmet with popping the lid is a little one motion. It takes a, a little bit of time to get used to opening your helmet up with this action. But overall, this helmet is impressive. Now, I'm not gonna tell you it's a quiet helmet. It's not the quietest helmet that you're gonna probably run with. But as you can see in our videos, you can still hear us talking in the center and it does really well. This is a Snell, not approved. Like I said, this is the Arai Region X helmet. Now. I want to show you the next helmet. Of course, we talk a lot about Shoei, and Shoei is, like we all know, a top leading helmet builder. There's no doubt about it. This thing is amazing the way it looks. I think it just looks fast setting there, doesn't it? Uh, so it's got that black matte finish. Check this out, though. I think this is really cool. It, it's got um, a certain quality about these helmets that other helmets don't have, I've noticed, in the way they make this uh, back rear venting. Um, it, now, I'm not rode with this, so I'm looking at it and it has, of course, your, your brow up here. It has a little bit of a venting up through here. Um, it goes across your scalp, which it opens and closes, and, and then it has this double chin vent I was looking at, which is a little different from what I'm used to. Um, the action on it feels, it's a little bit more clickier. So you have different settings. My Arai is like three settings, but the uh, Shoei has all these, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, the interior of it, it looks badass. To me, though, it doesn't feel as soft or as comfortable, but I haven't rolled with this as the Arai. 
if I'm just feeling it. But as looks, though, it's a sleek, sexy helmet. And you can see they, uh, you know, Kelly's got it set up with a center unit that she runs on here. I think they're running the 30Ks. Um, but I'll put this side by side with a rye here in a second. So we move on from the showy and then Scott, this is pretty cool. I've been wanting to see one of these. So of course, this is the Simpson Mod Bandit and it's in the fi uh, fiber, carbon fiber. This thing's pretty badass. It's a module helmet, which I ran. I had a Harley Davis one when our bike got stolen. They got stolen with a bike. So I like a module helmet and Scott really loves module helmets because it says when he gets to where he's going, stopping at lights and stop signs, he wants to be able to pop his lid and he just makes him feel better. You know, it opens it up where he can hear, he can talk and breathe. I totally get that. So this is, it really opened up. And the thing is super, super light. Compared to my helmet, even though this is a module, it is lighter than my Rye helmet. I think it's a sexy fucking helmet. I dig it. And the, and the layer, uh, the liner in it, it feels good, it feels quality. It, it's um, a sleeker feel. It's a cool ass design. I can tell they're thinking a lot about venting your scalp. Um, you can see that in there. And then on his, he has two on top for your scalp and they're a slide. So it doesn't pop open, they actually slide. They don't just flip. But this is the thing. They have their built-in vent for a chin. There's no action up here. So I don't know if I was to ride with this, I'm supposing it would let air in, but I'm in my mind, I'm questioning how much air it would really let in. And then on those hot days going through light, 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 I don't know if that would really let you breathe, but this being a module, you can pop the front. So pretty cool chance to look at these helmets. If you'll hand me that stuff, I'm going to line them up side by side. This is what I was really wanting to look at. And the side by side view of these helmets. And then you can get a good idea. And as you can tell, honestly, my opinion, Simpson is the winner. I think they look aggressive like they always have. They, um, they've just got a cool style to them. But you know, you look at the showy as well, like I said earlier, it's got this sharper look to it. The thing looks like it's going fast, sitting still. And then you go over to the Arai, which to me, it looks more of the old school helmet with a rounder face <laughs> chin guard. Recapping, looking at these, just looking at them, not riding with them. Like I said, I've only rode with the Rye. The Simpson to me looks like it takes the cake for the sexiest helmet set in here. But if you look at different, if you spin them around, I have a different opinion when you look at the ass end of them because then the showy on the rear end looks pretty bad ass. Is that not cool? It looks got a little bit of a fast ass on it. That's all I can, it just looks fast from the ass in. It looks good, it looks sleek. They put a lot of, I know they put a lot of time and design into their helmets. We've reached out to Showy actually. Uh, they were super nice to us. Um, we reached out to Simpson. I never did hear back from Simpson. Uh, of course, Arai, we were running with Arai helmet. They've been really good to us, Tucker. We appreciate you guys uh, hooking us up with these helmets. I will turn them around and let you see from the rear view. Cause this is kind of what I want to do is put these helmets side by side to get a better visual. Like I said, the lightest helmet here, of course, is the Simpson. It is carbon fiber, so it would be lighter. So I'm sitting here looking at them now. I do want to point out one thing though. Uh, Scott's got a gigantic head. He's a mammoth of a man. So this is a big ass helmet compared to mine where I might run a, a medium large. He's running an extra large. 
This here is Kelly's and hers is probably a medium sized helmet. So there may be a little difference there, but overall it does point out the case. This is the bigger helmet and it is the lightest helmet though. Pretty cool, good features in each and every one of them. I just wish we could combine all of them together. And I, I really need to get out there and ride with a lot of different helmets, but you know, guys, that takes money. So this is the uh, best opportunity I've got to look at them and handle them. Thought we'd show this off and see what you guys think. What do you guys run? What are you comfortable with running? What helmet do you like? Uh, we're always talking about this. What features are you looking for? For me, I need comfortability and I need it to vent because like yesterday, Steph and I got in a massive downpour um, and you need that thing to work properly, not just look cool. The quick look at three different helmets. So we looked at the Arai, the Simpson and the Showy. You know, preference is what it's all about. It's basically coming down to what we can afford, isn't it? We're trying to get the best bang for the buck and it's hard to do when you can't get your hands on stuff and actually use them. I know through the COVID stuff right now, we're having trouble because they really don't want us to put helmets on. I totally understand it. So, like I said, we just took this opportunity to show three different brands and what we have came on to on this trip. Mind if I play with your helmets? 